What's going on guys, it's your boy the GCC and in today's video we're going to be talking about the top 3 prequel sets that LEGO needs to make. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. Alright guys, the first set that we're going to be talking about today is the Clone Trooper and Droids Battle Pack. Now obviously this is going to be coming out in January 2024, but I think Brick Wizard 59 did an awesome design of this set and what it potentially is going to look like and I think it looks absolutely amazing of course on the left we can see that tri droid which looks really cool I want to say the last time we had a tri droid was in the 2014 Utapau uh, clone trooper battle pack so it's definitely been a long time since we saw that tri droid and I really like how brick wizard put it in that uh, kind of like blue and gray separatist color scheme of the clone wars and then of course on the right you can see that uh, bark speeder with the sidecar which I think is really cool um, <laughs> we haven't gotten that sidecar bark speeder in a long time as well so it'd be really cool to see an updated version of that that stat build looks amazing as well of course in that separatist blue color scheme i know we did get a stat build in the 2023 advent calendar but obviously that is in its classic brown color scheme and i really like how this one is in its blue color scheme it looks like you get three b2 super battle droids i cannot wait for the return of these droids i think they're so cool i mean yeah i know they used to have like some breaking issues but hopefully like it will bring them back for good this time and we'll actually start to see them in more sets which would be really cool it looks like you would also get two b1 battle droids i mean we've seen them a bunch of times before so nothing really too different there i really wish they had maybe some markings like the security battle droids or like pilot battle droids or something like that or maybe like a b1 commander battle droid that'd be really cool but i don't think lego's gonna do that it's probably just gonna be a plain b1 battle droid it also looks like you get four awesome clone troopers so three phase two regular white clone troopers which is awesome we haven't seen them since i want to say like the turbo tank micro fighter back in 2014 or something like that and it also looks looks like you get one Coruscant Guard Trooper, um, which we just got in the Coruscant Guard Gunship, which released back on September 1st. So that's really cool how we are getting it in a cheaper set. This set was rumored to be $30, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be $30. I know that's a little bit expensive for a battle pack, but you're getting some awesome, awesome builds and some awesome minifigures, and I can't wait to see some leaked images when they come out eventually. I'm really looking forward to it. Now let's move on to our next set. All right, guys, the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the Naboo Starfighter. Now, I think this is really interesting. Obviously, this is based off the Phantom Menace, and it does say 4+, plus, which is kind of disappointing, but just kind of go with me for this set right now. It looks like you get two solid minifigures, of course, being Qui-Gon Jinn and a B1 Battle Droid. Again, for that B1 Battle Droid, I would love to see maybe a Commander B1 Battle Droid that we haven't seen in a while. And that Qui-Gon Jinn minifigure would be a great way to get an updated version of him. Um, You know, give him some nice leg printing, you know, update his torso print a little bit, and he'd be awesome. Like, I feel like we haven't had him at least for a good, you know, five, six years. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong wrong now a four plus set i mean they can really range in price nowadays as we saw with the uh tanu jedi temple but hopefully this set would only be like twenty dollars or so because it looks like you're only getting um the nabu starfighter which looks to be pretty small of a build i really like it though i mean we haven't gotten a regular like yellow nabu starfighter i want to say since like 2016 or 2015 i know we got the mandalorian 10 one starfighter but i just love the yellow color scheme of the nabu starfighter so i think that's pretty interesting and i would love to see this though looks like you would have those little discs to shoot off uh, your ship instead of your spring load missiles and stud shooters, um, which is obviously easier for uh, younger children. But this is an amazing set. I love the box art of the set. I'm just hoping maybe we get this. I would just love to see maybe like a regular Naboo Starfighter in 2024 or 2025, but we'll see if Lego redoes that anytime soon. I think this is awesome. Now let's move on to our next set. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is meme set time. And today we have Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru as a skull. This is awesome. Of course, this is part of the helmet collection. I'm pretty sure Lego is canning the helmet collection, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But this would be hilarious to have good old Uncle Owen and Amperu. Of course, their names would be on that plaque at the bottom, as you guys can see. And the skulls just look absolutely great. Really just fits their character <laughs> really, really well. And I think this would be really cool. I mean, they could either do like a smaller version of these skulls for them and put it as like the May 4th promo. This could be a meme set, or these could be actual sets on shelves and they can retail for like $70 which would be absolutely crazy I think this is awesome <laughs> you know of course we all know the memes of Aunt Peru and Uncle Owen after um, this happens to them but I just think this is hilarious and I would love to see this one day now let's move on to our next set all right guys the next set that we're going to be talking about today is a Django Fett helmet build now I really love the design of this of course we have Boba Fett's helmet I think back in 2020 or 2021 um, of course um, we could get Django Fett his father which would be really cool 
um, of course, you would have that range fighter and then just more of that bluish color instead of that green uh, color like Boba Fett. But, um, of course, you would get that uh, black stand with Jango Fett's name on it. I would love to maybe like a Jango Fett minifigure to come with it. I know um, every helmet set does not come with a minifigure. I don't think it ever has but like it'd be really cool if we would get like a Django Fett minifigure to go along with the helmet just because we haven't gotten a Django Fett minifigure in so long now really Lego missed the opportunity to do this in 2022 because obviously it was 20 year uh, anniversary of Attack of the Clones now we are past that now but hopefully uh, maybe sometime in the future Lego does a Django Fett helmet because I, I think it'd be pretty cool I definitely could see this set going for like 70 or 80 dollars I'm pretty sure all the helmets go around for uh, that 70 dollar range but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong i just think it'd be really cool to line up with all your other uh helmet series of course boba fett obviously phase two captain rex phase one commander cody and stuff like that but i think this is really cool congratulations guys you have made it to the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i had a fun time putting it together and i definitely think lego needs to make some of these awesome prequel sets shout out to brick wizard 59 toxic tiger and star wars photoshop for making these awesome sets i'll put a link to their instagrams down in the description below if you guys enjoyed today's video or you're are new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it you would help out the channel big time and honestly you would make my day also go ahead give this video a thumbs up again i'd really appreciate it you would help out the video big time i know i say that a lot guys but it really would mean a lot i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one